Welcome back, people. Welcome back to PHP series, and I hope it has been blessing you. For a different episode now, I think you should go back to a TV advent. And so, uh, it's still the same message. Yeah, it's never changed yet. Uh, uh, we, we, we are raising ethylene, who will not only fulfill the, the test of design as it were, but the test of excellence. Yeah, so, and so what, what, what do we mean? People have just been living as human beings, um, relating to them just the way they think they should. But really, they reach the way they, sh- they, they should relate to them. So that is what we have been emphasizing throughout PHP series from episode one, from season one, episode one, to season two, episode four, the, the, which is the last episode. So quick one. So the same way we did in season one, the first seven episodes of season one were we, we were emphasizing the basics. Same thing here. Yeah. So the, the, this next three episodes will still be the basics of what we have been doing in PHP series per se before we switch to emotional intelligence. And I promise you that this season two, we 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 didn't touch mental health education in season one. No, I promise you we are doing mental health education this time, and it's gonna bless you. Yeah, you know, those negative you've been thinking, okay, how the AI part we're gonna be doing this time, you've been thinking, how can you switch from, uh, you know, they've been told, you've been told, oh, you've gone through some traumas when you were younger, how do you heal? But now, me, I'm, me, I'm trying, me, I'm coming to tell you that maybe healing is not what you need, and I'm coming to tell you what you need is you wait for it in the next AI for, for season two. You know, been, you've been told, okay, how can you, uh, live? get rid of negative beliefs in your head and all of that i will show you that in season two so ei for season two is is what i you should look up to the same way i'm looking up to it as it were so quick one let's continue from what we stopped in the last episode yeah i remember actually in the last episode i said your solution is your potential yeah your solution you know i, I said it that you check them from eternity for a reason and so there was something that was deposited in you for your word. So that is your solution, that is your potential. That is, that is, that is your, uh, what we like call it now, we like call it your, your seed, as it were. And you know the principle that gets the heart, the principle of seed time and harvest. So the seed that you came into the heart for is your potential. And you know, in that same principle of, of seed time and harvest, as it were, you first have to accept that seed. You have to determine the seed. Yeah. You know, when you have desired the harvest, the harvest is the end. Now, I, I want to, it's like I'm beginning to try to break down, break down the principle of seed time and harvest as it were. When you were told, oh, seed time and harvest is the, is the, is the path. Now, the first thing in that path, it's, it's just a law. Most people do not really understand it as it were. So you keep just saying, hey, I appreciate that God is just seed time and harvest and all of that now. I want to break it down for you and you will see. The first thing is you have to desire the harvest. And so that harvest is what you have in mind, which is at the back. That harvest is now, now for me, this is PHP series. The harvest of PHP series for me now, for instance, one of them is we are going to present the PHP approach to life at the United Nations Parliament. And they're going to take it in and there will be a subject that we will be coming out of PHP that will be taught in schools around the world. So that is like the harvest for me for PHP, one of them, major, majorly anyways. And so that's the, that's the harvest. Now, what is the seed? This is the seed. This is one of the seed. What we are doing right now. Yeah, this is one of the seed. And what is the time? That time is how the commitment is going to take. So that time now, resources is going to come under that time. Time like time is going to come under the time. That is, that is the principle. I just broke down the principle of seed time and harvest. Now, why is it the first one that you have to desire the harvest? Now, that's going to go back to have a primary law of the heart listening to you. And so you have to, you have to desire first because if you don't desire, it is when you desire that you, you keep the heart on its toes. Yes, you keep the heart on its toes when you desire. And so when you desire the axis on his toes, then you be like, hey, dude wants to get something done. All right, let's, let's go get it done. That is the part. That is the only thing the axis is doing there. You see, their seed, you are the one to determine it. Oh, how big do you, do you want it to be? 
how little do you want it to be? You are the one that is determining that shit. And so this is just a formula that I just shared now. Then, uh, uh, how do I, what do I call this thing now? What do I call this episode? Probably I will just call it uh, maybe the hierarchy. You know, they have said there have been rules of success. I, I don't want you to success. Maybe the hierarchy of success. Maybe the path to success as well. So they have been, just, you can apply what I just shared now to every major aspect of your life. Divide it into that seed. That is the basic law of the earth. Seed time and harvest. So that harvest is what you want to see. So you have to desire it. This is where I am emphasizing. There, there must be a desire. You must see it. You must get the hurt on its toes. Yes. When you do that, then you can determine the seed. And when you determine the seed, you give it the, the, the number of times it, it is needed for, for you to get it done. And with that, you will see your desire in reality. Yeah. And I didn't tell you last episode that uh, our purpose is a life insurance. Yeah, you see, when we are left eternity for a year, there is, there is, our purpose is like, uh, what, what, how do I put it now? Our purpose guarantees, our purpose guarantees life first. You know, we, we've established in the previous episode, a lot of episodes, the living is different from existing. So when you, when you are key on your purpose, your purpose guarantees life insurance. The truth is our purpose will pay us. You know, there is, a, there is an MVP way that I describe myself. Maybe I, will, maybe I will share in this episode. Let me quickly share. There is an MVP way that I describe myself. I call it MVP normally is most valuable person. And so when I'm saying MVP now, I divide it into mission, vocation, and profession. And so in our world, our society has only emphasized on just mission. No, our society has only emphasized on vocation and profession. No one has really pressed on mission like that. Like, what is your mission, man? What do you want to do for your world? You know, when we were younger, nobody asked us that, man. Hey, what do you want to do for your world? What, is, what do you want to become? And so it is, we, we became so selfish. Yeah, ambition came in. Nobody told us vision. But then that's not the point. But then I'm saying the mission part, the MVP part, the MVP way that I describe myself, See, our mission is going to pay. Yes. Your vocation will pay. My mi- mission, for instance, pay three series for me. Vocation, it can be anything I- I'm doing. And my profession, it can be anything I study in school. Same for you. But then, you see, that, that mission, that purpose, why I said it is a life insurance system. And I want you to get this very well. Your purpose has a way of rewarding you. That purpose is, is just for you. And you, you can't, it's just you. See, the truth is, when you don't fulfill your purpose, are you say, am I saying that the people or whosoever who should be a beneficiary of that gift that has been in you for that purpose to come into reality will suffer? No! The heart will always find another person. But the truth is, your purpose has a way of rewarding you. And the, the truth is, the earth will always frustrate every other person, including yourself. And that is why you have to bear in mind the first law that we shared, the principle of seed time and emphasis, and how I broke it down. The earth will always frustrate even yourself. The earth will want to frustrate you. Even though the earth is not going to give that reward to another person, but the earth will always want to frustrate you. So it's now left for you now to know that, see, this purpose will pay me and there is a reward for it. There is a reward system for your purpose. That's what I'm trying to let to tell you now. But like your purpose is not just giving out. The way some people have actually just thought it, they are just giving out, it is for you. There is a reward for it. And so that is what we are talking about, the life insurance. Yeah, we know the gift is not just for you. It's not just for you. Like when you have a gift, when you're in light somewhere, the light is not for you. It's for you to light up some darkness somewhere. If it's just for you, then you burn, 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 and burn down. And that's all. That means it is for you to light up a darkness. But there is a reward for your purpose. And so I think this should gladden your heart. And so me doing this, there is a reward. Maybe I don't know yet, but there is a reward for it. There is a reward, a greater reward for it as it were. So I'll see you in the next episode. Blessings.